Okay, so Rachel, I can imagine that as a Black woman working in a male-dominated field, mm -hmm. no women really at all, but right. you come the, also being Black, yeah, right? having a strong voice and being a powerful presence, right? How has that impacted you, and how have you kind of pushed through and persevered the challenges that I can only imagine are part of that? Oh yeah, and it's incredible, you know, I mean, you know, um, obviously with all this, this whole George Floyd, you know, the Black Lives Matter and all that has kind of, you know, came back up to the surface, unfortunately. We're still having the same conversation that we've been fighting for 400 years for, you know, mm -hmm. we're still here having this conversation. There's not that many Black women at the level that I'm at. I, I actually feel like I'm the only one you know, I don't, I don't have ne never seen anyone else before. Um, and when I first came in, because I'm, you know, light skinned and I've got this accent, you know, people would just either wouldn't believe I was black or question if I, what, you know, am I black? Mm -hmm. And the accent throws them off, you know, but, mm -hmm. you know, I've had people take bets. They've had, you know, thrown money into the center of the table. Oh, I think she's, you know, um, Arab, Middle Eastern, you know, oh, she's this, mm -hmm. oh, she's that. Oh, she's and I'm like, okay, no, so you're like, I'm with that, you know, like, right, well, right. money and let me just, you know, square it all up for you, you know, let me tell you who I am, you know? Right. And what they were witnessing was just black girl magic. Well, that's it, right? Who you yeah. are and what you exude daily. Yes, exactly. Your existence. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's like, come <laughs> on now, you know, but, you know, I had, um, I had someone, I've, I've been in the presence of people that have, have said the N-word, you know, and just terrible things. I had one guy put a, a piece of paper on the door of the office so that when I walked in, it was no blacks allowed with a no entry sign, you know, with a big, oh yeah. And then there was- a And this was thing. like recent, I'm sure. Yeah, you know, yeah, just like, last year I had, uh, I was on um, the phone with someone and uh, he thought he was being, you know, and said that he funny, would right. and hang me from a tree. He thought that was hysterical and you know, it really bothered me. I actually got off the phone with him um, and he called me, uh, he must have done this in like early December and he called me early January because we were working on a fight mm -hmm. and I wasn't my normal chirpy self. Mm -hmm. And I thought about him and I thought if I brush that off and I don't address it, he's going to do it again and he might do it to somebody mm -hmm. else that's really, you know, and it, it actually did affect me quite deeply. So he called me and he goes, hey, what's, what's going on? You're not your normal chirpy self. And I said, you know, I said, that whole tree, Tennessee, hanging me from it, you know, the rope and all of that. I said, mm. that really affected me. Mm. So, you know, the, the car, and it was, oh, Rachel, forgive me. I said, you know, no, because you've done it before. So you, mm -hmm. you already know what you're doing. I said, but this is what's going to happen. You are no longer allowed to speak to me. So I took that, like, you, you're not allowed and to you be- you set those the, boundaries, that's exactly. right. These are my boundaries now, you know, mm -hmm. because it mm -hmm. happens quite a lot. If it's not racism, it's sexual stuff, you know, and things like that. And it's all geared to keep us in our place, right? Mm -hmm. So- and, and there's a lot of behind the scenes chatter that we're not exposed to. That we're not exposed to. It happens all the time about mm -hmm. us, you know, yeah. and- yeah. I, I'm so, it, it's so sad that, it, you know, it had to get to the point of a George Floyd. Yeah. And Breonna Taylor and yeah. Maude Aubrey, where we're like, and everyone, I mean, how many videos have we seen? Yeah. Right? yeah. How many, I mean, it, it's the, the, it's been there forever. Mm -hmm. And it's sad that, you know, it's had to get to this point to where now, you know, we're seeing through all these protests that, things are starting to hopefully, you know, change. Yeah. People are understanding that this ain't new for us. Like this, we have been through this for years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I remember being in high school and college and getting pulled over. Yeah. And, and the black males that I was with at that time, and even just me being a black woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That we had of the police exactly. growing yeah. up. Like, yeah. you know, I, I never um, have felt comfortable with, with, the police right <laughs> and, and it just me, you know? it just amazes me that now people are seeing oh wow we never knew that you felt like that so i appreciate right. the recognition and that it's being brought yeah. to the forefront yeah but what are we going to do about it now well that's it exactly now yeah. now the world knows yeah they new to us this mm -hmm. is what we're going through yeah. it's time to change exactly i always tell people 
and I've been, you know, I really feel strongly about this. You know, we need to be who we are. We need to step out and be who we are unapologetically. Absolutely. Right? And you've always been unapologetic. Yeah. So, you know, as a Black woman, that has spoken volumes to me. Yeah. Witnessing you, you know, and we, we can't be afraid to use our voice. 100%. Can't yeah. be afraid to set up our boundaries. Exactly. And so yeah. for women that want to really break into this space, in this particular industry, yeah. not, because again, this applies to every career. Yes, it does. And, and our experiences, Black women, are the same, whether exactly. it's the no matter what you room, do. Yeah. The, the boardroom, the or the grocery store. store. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. Right? Yeah. So what advice do you have for, for us? Come on in. <laughs> huh? What'd you Come say? Come on in. I said, come on in. We, we need more, you know. I mean, we yeah. really, truly, it needs to be, you know, at this level, there needs to be more diversity because there really isn't, you know. Um, even with the, even with black men, as 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 is, you know, there's not that many, at, you know, at this point. But you know, just um, just get in, you know, get in, and and again, just stay firm, stay true, mm -hmm. and and you know, we go. It goes back to risks, risk putting out your boundaries. Don't worry yes. about it. You know what I mean? Because you, you have to have those, you know what I mean? You can't allow people to walk through your journey and leave a trail of, you know, what, you know, behind mm -hmm. that's their mess. Take and you have to have that no fear uh, mm -hmm. because, you know, if it doesn't work out here, fine, because at the end of the day, if it doesn't work out, you'll go elsewhere because you are the prize. You That's know what I mean? You are that bag of goodies. You, when those, you know, when you walk at people go, oh, you walk in the room and it lights up. Yeah, you're right. Cause I'm a bloody million dollar watt bull, right? Mm -hmm. So if you try to dim me, then I'm going to go elsewhere and I'll brighten up wherever else I go, you know, but you have to be strong and you have to be tough. And if you feel like you're you know, you're gonna cry or you, you know, and it's, so that's okay too. I cry every single day. I mean, don't get me wrong. I cry every day, you know, mm -hmm. but I don't let anyone see me cry, you know? Right. Um, and you know, you, you just kind of like, you know, you, you just gotta just, you just gotta That's be, right. You know? We can't dim our light. We can't dull our shine. No. Society, just the construct of it all <clears throat> has been set up to work against us and to men. Yeah, women in general like are minimized. So imagine, yeah, being a yeah. black woman and how oh, black women to minimize who does she our think voice, our stance, yeah. our our hair mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. walk into a room, right? Yeah. yeah, this isn't a natural style. I mean, you know, I put it up, right? right. But sometimes my hair is curly and right. out, and I love it. Yeah. Know? And yeah. so I'm no longer feeling that fear of, okay, I need to go on an interview. I need to slick my hair back. Right, exactly. I'm feeling a fro, a curly fro that day. Right. I'm walking through that room, <laughs> that fro, into that room with that fro. Yeah, absolutely. You know? And so I love this, this power that we've always had. But I think we have been, we've had that fear. You know, because it's, right, but it, it just comes up, it's a generational thing, you see. And, yes. and each generation leaves that, that, certain insecurity yes it's like no you know we're not we're not playing this game anymore it's not my fault that you don't shine that's not my fault that this is this is who i am this is the right. power of me that you and you I, should be able to be I, that I, I, anywhere you know, something, something, you know i can sprinkle a little something for you and help you along the way but that's not my fault so i'm not going to stand back so, you know, in order for you to step forward, no. Or feel, feel comfortable. In order for someone else to feel uncomfortable. Exactly. exactly. You may feel uncomfortable. You know? You know what I mean? Well, and, and that's not our problem. That's not my problem. Being ourselves, it's not our problem to, exactly. to, to make someone else feel yeah. comfortable. With exactly. Sorry. You know, if, if you don't feel comfortable, that's, that's on you. You woke up like that. Let's have that conversation. Yeah. So that, yeah. You know, we can learn how to coexist and move forward. Yeah, exactly. Love this, this power that we're embracing. Yeah. You know, because it's always, again, been a part of us and who yeah. we are. Absolutely. Um, and, and, you know, it, when it's speaking, thinking of career, you know, it's, it just feels so good to say, hey, yeah, this company can't accept me for who I am 
this is not the right company for me. That's exactly it. With that. Exactly. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you know I mean? I, that's good for me to know that now. Yeah. You know, it's, inc- it's incredible. I mean, you know, I, I have worked with just about everyone. Mm-hmm. Men, you know, again, they're, they're all old school, old guard, you know, guys. And everyone that I've had, I got fired. I got fired from, from Dan Goose and he fired me because I was standing up for myself. He's like, you don't like it, get out. And I'm like, you know what? I don't like it. I'm going yeah. home, you know, bye. And he, he doesn't know that I know this, but he told someone I should never have let her leave. He was never mm-hmm. the same, you know? Mm-hmm. And that's mm-hmm. how you have to, you go in and you just, and when you leave, you're taking yourself with you. You're not And leaving. your gifts. And your contribution, everything applies somewhere else, right? And and what that does, and what we've seen by doing that, and I've experienced the same thing. And what I've learned is, I'm always okay. I still stay two feet, and I still, you know, have great opportunities coming yeah. away. That's exactly it. You yeah. know what? There's so much beauty in coming to that recognition in terms it's freedom. of freedom. You're free yourself. Yeah, and, and and that is the ultimate freedom. Yeah, it is. So yeah. in career and overall life. 100%. Oh, yeah, girl. <laughs> you know, what it's, and the, the thing about it is it's like, it's not, necess- it's not a knock on anyone else. This is, we are, we have a right to be here. We have a right to be seen. Absolutely. We have a right to be heard. You know, and, you know, people go, oh, I want to sit at the table. I've got a table and I've got a seat. I'm bringing my own. I'm going to pitch it right, right. next to yours. And yeah, if I can't get it at the, if I don't have a seat at your table, that's all right. I'm yeah. at my table. <laughs> Listen, you know, I mean, I could, you can do, you know, you can just be you. You don't need any material. That's thing right. Who you are, right? Yeah. So, you know, I mean, and that's, it's key. It's key. And you've got Matter of fact, I don't like sitting at the table. I like stand, walking in, banging, exactly. moving and standing and shaking up and standing room. firm on my two feet. Exactly. I mean, that's, that's how I carry myself. You know, I mean, I really do. And it's just, um, you know, I don't, I don't, I just don't take any, you know, BS, you know, I just don't. It's like, yeah. just, you know, like I'm going to treat you the way you treat me. You treat me bad. Okay. You don't exist. Mm-hmm. I walk right through you. You treat mm-hmm. me great. No problem. You give me, you know, good energy. You, I'm all yours. You know, I'm in, you know, what do you need? Mm-hmm. How can I, what can I do for you? I mm-hmm. want to help you be better. But if you're going to disrespect me along the way or disrespect somebody else along the way, then you lost me. You know? Right. So yeah. We're, we're the prize, you know? That's right. Yeah. And, you know, that's why when we see, you know, we're hearing all this now with corporations and diversity. And I always talk about how diversity is one thing. Yeah. Right. Companies will find a way, you know, they'll hire diverse candidates, diver- make diverse hires. But once these diverse hires are there, like the inclusivity piece, that's what's key. Exactly. And, and understanding that in including me does not mean um, having the expectation that I will conform. Right. right, right. Inclusivity is allow me to be me and to bring yeah. that. And that is the contribution yeah. that I exactly. make, and that should be embraced. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's the inclusivity piece that's so key that I hope that these companies while we're going through this and you're hearing all this preaching of Mm -hmm. we want to be include, we want to diversify. Exactly. Hope that they really get and apply that inclusivity piece. It's it's interesting, you know I mean? Because I go through that, you know, obviously being a woman, oh, what do you know? You're a girl. We're the men. This is boxing. It's like, well, I know I actually probably forgotten more than you actually know, but that's another Mm -hmm. subject, you know, (laughs) but it is, it's always that case. It's like, oh, she's a woman. She, what does she know? And, it's like, listen, I'll tell you what I know. And then we'll go from there. <laughs> listen. But there's a lot of, there's listen. A lot of That's right. Be willing right. to listen. So people are insecure, especially mm-hmm. men, you know, mm-hmm. and, 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 and again, in, in a male dominated field for a woman, you know, they look at women in boxing. If you're not wearing a bikini and you're not, you know, walking around the ring with a, 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 a round card in your hand, what are you doing here? Mm-hmm. You know? So um, to be, you know, how to get to, but once you get there, it's, it's pretty cool, you know, but you got to fight, fight your butt, be prepared, you know, to, to yeah. fight. Yeah, I mean, we see it right now in politics. As soon as 
the VP is announced, it's like, yeah. Oh, well, she did this and that and this. And mm -hmm. I'm looking at it. I don't care. Like, I don't care. Yeah. Woman and a black woman who yeah. will be first. Yeah. I want to. I want my daughter to be able to see. Okay. We, we speak this all the time about how we're such an open-minded country and yeah. the land of opportunity. And for 231 years plus, it's been all male. Yeah. And 12 years ago, okay, yeah, we got- <laughs> we, got we got one. We got one. But then now this is the time for yeah. a woman to be given an opportunity and everyone's to break apart every single thing. It's like, I don't care about every single thing. Yeah. I care about, the mission that this is the the message that this is is sharing with the world but you know i, I find that you have all these men thumping their chests on the blah, 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 you know and then you let a woman walk in the room and you think it was a bloody a mouse amongst bloody elephants you know what i mean they scatter they they're, they're fearful of the strength that a woman does have i mean we mm -hmm. are the we are the the stronger sex i don't care what anyone tells me you know we are we get things mm -hmm. done Women have that innate ability to to process something. What's you know get get a good grip of the situation, and we've already got the solution before we were halfway through what the problem is. And I think that men are very fearful of a strong woman. And then you That's put right. a little bit of hue on top of that, and they're really you know like threatened, you know. And um, and it's like you know just how 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 can they go home and face their own daughters? If they're out That's here right. in the day, you know, ripping a woman off of her perch, you yes. know, what? who are you to do that? You have a wife, you have a mother. Right. You know? Don't so, you want them to have this opportunity? Don't exactly. you want them to see that? So it always amazes me when people are more focused on like the political stance or this and that. And it's like, this is so much bigger than politics. Yeah. Like this is a human mission of you know this is a human the the human message the mm -hmm. it's just so much greater than just it's yes we can of the united yes, states yes we can <laughs> she's telling that kids yes we can you know and then you've got some old geezer in the next room though and no we can't you know and it's yeah it's, it's yeah a terrible thing you know um it really is but you know i mean i think that we just have to you know give a leg up, help, help each other out, guide each other through, back each other up. If there's, you know, you hurt one, you hurt us all. Mm -hmm. That's the motto that I, that I mm -hmm. have, you know, that's the mm -hmm. motto that my team has, you know, one's hurting, yeah. we're all hurting. Absolutely. So, you know, and yeah. if you embrace, if, if you put out that you embrace diversity and inclusivity, none of this that's happening in the political realm should be an issue. Right. Exactly. Yeah. If you truly stand for that. Exactly. <laughs> you, know? I, you know, I always tell people, you know, even when like if a reporter, you know, I have issues with a certain reporter, he will not write for me. Mm -hmm. And it's, like, it's about clicks, Rachel. I have to get the likes and I have to get this and that and the other. And I'm like, don't you want to be the first? Wouldn't you want to be known as being the first? Yes. Step out. You know, don't you want to be the first to say, I wrote about that kid before he was fighting for the world championship. Right, right. Don't you want to be the cock of the block? Don't you want to be the man? Oh, you're not the man. All right, then I'll go to the next man. And then that's what you got to do. Yeah, but this is all representative <laughs> of how our country is still so many, just is, is so crippled. Crippled. Yeah. Here we are hundreds of years later and yeah. we're still fighting for first. I, I, there's nothing worse Oh, the first black woman to do this. Are you kidding me? It's 2020. I don't want to know about still it's fighting for first. first. Why is that so special that yeah. we're first? You know, we've been here. You know, we've we are been the here. Of this company, we, a country. We are the blood in the in the soil of this country. Mm -hmm. How come we're first? So now, when you process all of that, that is the picture of privilege. Yeah. Systemic institutionalized racism yeah 100 percent. because we shouldn't be still knocking on first to be first in 20 mm -hmm. so i always direct people back to that it's like that is this is an example of how we still have so far to go yeah yeah and it's because we're still fighting for a first well that's it right and i mean i just don't want it to be that 
you know, my, you know, grandkids, if I ever have them, I don't want them to be having firsts. It should be normal. Should Absolutely. Be, Let's normalize this. Shouldn't be breaking news. We've been here. Our mm -hmm. greatness is, has been, I mean, it, it, yeah. it's centuries, you know, yeah. It, it, yeah. since the beginning of time. Exactly. So, um, it, it doesn't matter now. Uh, and this is what I love. And this is what, excite, is what excites me for my children and hopefully my future grandchildren is that I'm kicking down the door. 100%. And so it doesn't, it, it, we're going to break through this and we're yeah. going to continue to stand strong as we always have. We're going to bogart our way into, 100%. Absolutely. And, and into yeah. every aspect of um, the systemic uh, tools and systems that are in place to, to exactly. marginalize us and to keep mm -hmm. us oppressed and keep us yeah. from, from shining. Absolutely. And I really think, you know, like to, 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 to close it all up, wrap it all up. When you find yourself in those positions, like I, like I am very visible, you know, I'm on TV and all that. Mm -hmm. Use that, you know, mm -hmm. show up, be strong, get the job done, you know, don't flit around being silly and whatnot, you know, get your job done. Use your power. Use your power, use your voice and help somebody out. You see somebody that wants to get in and they really have, you know, they really want to be in, especially if they look like us, walk them in, help them out, you know, guide them and the rest is up to them, but help them along. Help Absolutely. Them Extend that hand back to help propel forward. Exactly. All we can do. Yeah. yeah. And, and do it openly and honestly and authentically. Yeah. There's room for all of us. Absolutely. It's a big you know? world. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You've you got know, your slice. Let me eat. Here's a fork. I'm handing you a fork to go get absolutely. yours. Absolutely, you know. And that's and what we it's... have to constantly remind ourselves of that. Yeah. You know, there. I'm sure you've experienced this. I've certainly experienced it. Where it's like I know what my goals are and where I want to be, and so it's so easy to give up because yeah. it always it won't happen right away. You know. And I always tell my sons, just like keep going because yeah. this is your passion. Yeah. This is what you want to do. And if it just uh, impacts or helps one person. Yeah. Absolutely. It makes yeah. it all worth it. Well, that's it. You know, I mean, it's just like me talking to you, you know, and knowing that I've had that impact on you for all this time. And look, wait, your family, you're juggling everything. You're spinning every plate that imaginable, you know, and you're so successful. You're so beautiful. You've always got that kind heart, you know, and I love you dearly. I but that makes you. me feel good. That makes me want to get up in the morning and, and continue on with what yes. I'm doing because I know that somebody else has benefited from, you Absolutely. know, Absolutely. Right, you throw. So that's good. That's good. And when me. I see another person succeed, yeah, it's like, okay, yeah, I'm up next. And if I'm not next, I'm next after next. <laughs> you know, that's all right. I'm going to be one of those next. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you Absolutely. know, so. <laughs> You know what? It's all out there for it's us. Just gotta go get it. You know? It's yeah. Gotta... Endurance. It builds yeah. character, endurance, yeah. humility, um, so that it's, uh, you know, that much sweeter. That's, that's exactly it. That win, exactly. you know? And... I tell you, you know, I mean, I, I walk out of the tunnel as we're walking to the ring, and sometimes I'll be in the ring waiting for my fighter to come in or I'll walk with him, you know, on the ring walk. Mm -hmm. And you hear those fans and they're screaming their lungs out. You see all the cameras. And I'm thinking, well, they're not only on my kid. This is a thing that Don King taught me. Always stand next to your fighter. Never, you know, when you're in the ring, you're next to your fighter because the camera is right there. It's watching you. It's watching you. <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> there is nothing more to say. Done. As you're the star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's like he, yeah. May, he may have a belt around his waist and, and a couple of bumps and bruises, but it's all about it's all about it's the Rachel Charles show now, you know. That's right. And I'm very aware of that. Own you know? that power. Yeah, That's you know. Right. I, and I do. I think I looked at that and I'm like, wow, I have come far. You know, I've mm -hmm. done some stuff in my life. You know? Yes. Things that you have to go through, and you the 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 not so sure days and that you're crying and you're going through the, you know, whatever it is, the struggle, 
it all makes it worth it in the end when you can stand there and take it all in and know that you yeah. can have it yourself. And know that in those moments, there are little girls yep. once were. 100%. You. Absolutely. And that Absolutely. means you've done yeah. your job. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You are so welcome, my love. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Are we logging off now? Yeah, well, let me stop recording. Okay. <laughs>